if you're looking for a stealthy Thule pilot watch, then this new release from Draken Watches out of New Zealand might be a good option for you. The Peregrine has some interesting features that help make it stand out from the crowd. Now, Draken Watches did send this out, and it does not have to be returned, but like always, they have no say when it comes to the content of today's video. So let's get to it and take a look at the watch. All right, now Draken is one of those brands that's right up my alley with everything they've released so far. This is the kind of watch I mostly gravitate towards. Right on their homepage is their slogan, Purpose Built for a Life of Adventure. And their watches are solidly constructed tool watches that look great too. The Peregrine is available in four dial options. Two black dials, the version A and B, which I have here. I have the version B and the white fully loomed dial also in a version a or b you can get them with either a dlc coating or just stainless steel i'm usually tempted by a fully loomed dial but i had to go full stealth mode with this one the dial is a matte black so lots of contrast between it and the hands and markers up top is the company logo, which I think is a really cool logo with Draken printed below that. I like the blue accent on the second hand and the matching text Peregrine down at the six. But one standout with the watch is the small power reserve indicator just below the six o'clock date. Gives the dial good symmetry and even though the power reserve is small, it's still easy to see with a quick look. The handset is that right length reaching right out to the markers. Traditional handset for this style of watch, but with the blue second hand, it gives them a modern flair. When it comes to loom, it's quite the light show. There's loom everywhere here. They're using a mix of C3 X1 Super Luminova and BGW9. The BGW9 isn't quite as bright, but it's still good to go. Some bonus loom here too on the date the power reserve, and even the logo on the crown is loomed. And speaking of the crown, the elephant in the room here is this is a Destro watch, so the crown is on the opposite side. It's great for left-handed people. It takes some getting used to for me, but the one benefit is if you wear it on your left hand, you don't get the crown digging into the back of your hand. The crown is a screw-down crown. Just unscrew it here. Winding action is quite nice. The movement running the watch is the Miyota 9130, which is visible through the display case back. It is a high beat movement, beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour with a power reserve of approximately 40 hours. The bracelet and case are DLC coded, which is going to stand up a lot better than, say, a PVD when it comes to scratch resistance. It's got quick release spring bars and is sized with screws. The clasp is signed Draken and comes with five holes for micro adjusts. Sort of wish there was an on the fly adjustment system, but the clasp is still a good solid clasp well constructed and the bracelet feels good on wrist too along with the watch you get this travel pouch with the velcro patch nice image of a peregrine on it and inside is going to be the watch as well as a spare strap single pass nylon now, i've worn the watch entirely on the bracelet but i'll put a shot up now with it on the watch and it's great to get a spare strap like this especially with the matching dlc hardware the case design is clean and simple it slightly slopes in toward the case back which gives you a little more range of motion on wrist opposite the crown is signed draken on the side of the case there the lugs have a rugged angular design and they are drilled lugs too size on the watch comes in at a case width of 42 millimeters on the nose lug to lug is 48.9 millimeters the lug opening is 22 millimeters although that tapers down to 18 millimeters the bracelet that is at the clasp the thickness is 13.2 millimeters the crystal is sapphire with an anti-reflective coating on both sides it's really good, but one thing to consider is the outer AR can potentially scratch. 
I've had it happen on a watch and ended up removing the AR, which was one of the scariest procedures I've ever done on a watch. It was kind of an expensive one too. Ended up being fairly easy in the end, but yeah, poly watch and a Dremel will do it if you're careful. Water resistance on the watch is 100 meters. And here it is on my seven and a quarter interest. And this just looks awesome to me. These kind of watches just speak to me. So I've really enjoyed it, especially with this stealthy look. I think the big thing is whether or not you're good with the crown at the nine, but otherwise it has been great. Cost for the watch comes in at 649 USD, and you can find a link to Draken in the description below. Appreciate you taking a few minutes to stop by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.